It don't happen, no, my people, no be smart, you know. Hey, hey. My people, Tinubu did not see this coming. Hey, that's why they talk to us. So, no be another eat, they don't put for Tinubu. So, hmm, EU people say they don't go turn back. Oh, Tinubu say make the liver me low. No, while I don't tie rapper, as I they talk to us. So, call to him, don't catch, catch fire. The truth is out, my people. My people know be my mouth now go tell yeah, the real truth oh make kuna go watch video make on see by na I say hey things don't happen no say even judge they very very shocked say eh The week started with the Independent National Electoral Commission being able to call one witness in the petition of the PDP and Atuku Abubakar. The witness, Dr. Lawrence Bayode, is an ICT expert who adopts his deposition before the court. Led in evidence in chief by the INEC Council of Kamamud, the witness identifies a cloud trail log while making reference to the glitches during upload of results. The log is, however, admitted as evidence before the court amid objections by the PDP. Bayode also confirms that results transmitted electronically or manually would not affect integrity of election. He also confirms that the commission does not have any electronic collation system for the election results and that a few days to the election, the commission had published in the Tribune newspaper that it would not transmit results electronically. Under cross-examination by the petitioner's counsel, Chris Uche, the witness admits that not all results were uploaded before the declaration of Bola Tinubu as president. He also tells the court that no formal report was sent to Amazon Web Services by the Commission on the issues it claimed to have encountered. A copy of the final result of the European Union Election Observation Mission was also tendered by the petitioners, and the witness was made to read out a part of the report which highlighted that only 31% of the results formally uploaded on IREF server were mathematically correct. Expectedly, the respondent raised objections to the admissibility of the report. The European Union uh, observation mission, their final report was today tendered and admitted in evidence by the court. And you see that the witness who came from INEC, a director from INEC, read out the findings in that report, which clearly stated that the election fell below expectation and that only 31% of what was uh, 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 reported was mathematically accurate. So we think that this is a very good one. Day two of the proceedings, President Paula Tinubu opened his defense in the petition filed by Atuku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party, seeking to obtain the outcome of the February 2023 presidential election. President Bola Tinubu, who is the second respondent in the petition, opens his defense with a tendering of about 17 documents before the election court. The documents tendered are copies of letter from the United States Embassy to the Nigerian police dated 4 February 2003, as it has to do with the status of Tinubu's forfeiture case, which the petitioners have raised to argue that he was not qualified to stand for election. Also tendered was a bundle of Tinubu's academic records from Chicago State University as well as Tinubu's immigration documents and United States visas. Tinubu also tendered copies of reports of the Committee on Location of the Federal Capital of Nigeria and of from ECHD of Kano State in respect to the February 25, 2023 presidential election and that of from ECHDA. Apart from the educational and travel documents, the court further admitted a copy of the originating summons of a suit instituted at the Supreme Court by the Attorneys General of Adamawa State, Akwaibom, Bayelsa, Delta, Edo, and Sokoto States against Tinubu. Also tendered were certified true copies of newspaper publications on several suits filed against the president by several groups. The counsel for Atiku and the PDP objected to the admissibility of the documents while counsel for INEC and APC gave their consent for the documents to be tendered as exhibits before the court. 
Day three of the proceedings, the All Progressive Congress APC told the presidential election petition court that it will not participate in the whipping of dead horses, and it declined to open defense in the petition of the People's Democratic Party (PDP) and its presidential candidate Abubakar Atuku, challenging the conduct and declaration of the February 25 presidential election. APC Council Latif Fabemi said there was absolutely nothing to defend in the separate petitions of the Liberal Party and the PDP. The senior lawyer came to the conclusion not to open defence in Atiku's petition after cross-examining the Senate Majority Leader Michael Bamidele, the star witness to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Fabemi had subjected Senator Bamidele to rigorous questioning during which the witness, who is a legal practitioner, admitted that Tinubu's election cannot be reversed on the strength of his forfeiture of $460,000 to the United States of America through the court order. The witness, while responding to Fabemi's question, held that Tinubu was not arraigned, indicted or sentenced for any criminal charges by any American court, adding that civil forfeiture cannot take the place of criminal trial and conviction. Earlier, the Senate Majority Leader had told the Presidential Election Petition Court that President Paula Tinubu does not need to score 25% of vote cast in FCT to be declared winner of the February 25 election. The witness who was cross-examined by counsel for Atiku and PDP said, although Abuja is the federal capital of Nigeria, it has no special status other than that. He agreed with the petitioner's counsel that President Tinubu scored 19.4% in total vote cast in the FCT. After the testimony of President Tinubu's sole witness, Wali Alan Peku SCN announced the closure of Tinubu's defense while Latif Fadmemi SCN announced for APC. Meanwhile, the court has given the respondents 10 days to file their final written addresses and the petitioner 7 days to respond and 5 days to reply on point of law. Presiding Justice of the Presidential Election Petition Court Justice Haruna Samani said that the parties will be communicated on the dates for adoption of the final written addresses. Whatever has a beginning must have an end. Today, the proceedings in terms of hearing or the petition filed by Waziri Atiku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, against INEC against Bola Ahmed Tinibu and against the APC has come to an end. We were able to call, that is Atiku and PDP were able to call 27 witnesses, some of them expert witnesses, star witnesses. In proof of our case, we tendered a deluge of documents which were all admitted and marked as exhibits in spite of strenuous opposition by the respondents. On the other hand, the reverse side of the coin is that INEC, on whom the body of holding elections should actually lie as to whether the elections were free and fair, called only one witness. Secondly, the second respondent, Tinibu himself, only called one witness, Senator Michael Bamidele Okbeyemi who yesterday was elected as a majority leader of the Senate. As to the strength or weakness of his evidence, that will be left to the tribunal. But the important thing is that we did grill him through the furnace of the fire to show that the evidence he gave was not credible. And to show that the documents he tendered, particularly the report on the FCT, 
as a symbol of status and as a fountain of unity of the country, which they themselves tendered was actually in favor of the petitioners. We were also able to elicit from the witness that Tinubu did not win in his own state, and that he was the only presidential candidate that did not win in his own state. All others won. Atiku won in his own state, Peter Obi won in his own state, and Kwakonso won in his own state. That he did not win there. We were also able to enlist from the witness that of all the presidential candidates since 1999, none acceptable was in a position that he did not score. 25 percent. All of them scored 25 percent and over, except in Ibu who had 90 point something percent. All these things were put in evidence today. I think we have run a good race. The judgment belongs to this distinguished and honorable court of appeal which is the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal to do justice to the case which has been witnessed by the whole world. Thank you very much. My people, now the video now on a new watch for you soon. On a see what it happened for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make you let me know what it on a thing for the comment section. And if you are never subscribed, make you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't go miss any latest gist we are the upload. And those of you that will be seeing, I never follow my Facebook page, make you follow so that you don't go see miss any latest gist we are the upload. And I'm about to come on our next time. Bye, guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.